so this is my first stacking the shelf video in like three weeks um because my i had to wait for my husband to get home and use his webcam because uh mine sucks all right so i actually i didn't get a whole bunch of books this like in my two week absence but i got a lot of ebooks all right so i got 13 reasons why by Jay Asher, and like I know this book came out like I think it was seven years ago or something. No, not seven, five years ago or something. But I, um, my brother calls or texts me, and he's like, "Hey, do you have that book?" And I'm like, "Uh, no." And he's like, "Can you get it for me?" And I'm like, "Uh, sure." So I got two copies. Um, he said he read it like four or five times in high school, and it's like if he liked it that much, then. There has to be a reason, and I have to know what it is. I'm pretty sure it's like a really depressing book, but you know, I could be wrong. Okay, then I bought Going Under. I mean, and I just gotta say, I freaking love this cover, like ridiculous. Um, and uh, but Christy from Christy Love's Christy's Love of Books, she featured it. I think it was I don't know a few days ago, and I was like. Oh my god, I have to have that, dude. Sorry about it. Alright, so then I got Out of My Mind. Sounds really, really good. It's about, like, this 11-year-old chick who, like, um, she doesn't speak. And everybody thinks that she's, like, you know. Um, but, yeah, but, I, and I don't know why she doesn't speak, but it sounds really, really, really good. It says... If only she could tell people what she thinks and knows, but she can't because Melody can't talk. She can't walk. She can't write. Being stuck inside her, being stuck inside her head is making Melody go out of her mind. That is until she discovers something that will allow her to speak for the first time ever. At last, Melody has a voice, but not everyone around her is ready to hear it. Right? I know. Okay. Then I got. This one friggin' looks awesome. Seriously, can you guys see, like, see how, like, the monster hands are, like, coming out from under the bed to grab her? It's like, um, right? Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure she is, um, a zombie. It says, Annie Romero is a 16-year-old girl who wants to play sports, hang out, and kiss Mike, her middle school crush, a child, oh, oh, and a childhood carrier of the zombie virus. She died at 14, but she didn't become a mindless brain-eating monster. Her controlling, her controlling mother forces her to join the emo crowd to hide her condition behind a wall of black clothes and makeup, and her friends abandon her. I know. There's a whole bunch more of it. Uh, oh, and then I got Drain You. Um, this sounds freaking... I think it's like a 90s vampire parody. So... I think it's got, it hasn't gotten great reviews, but I think that that's because people expected it to be like Twilight. By God, if it has a vampire in it, it's like Twilight. Then, Miranda Cavi sent me Rua. Um, and I absolutely love the way this, obviously because uh, it's set in Kansas, so that just makes me um, super excited. But, yeah, I cannot wait to start this. I think it looks awesome absolutely amazing and seriously like um can you see that cover are you joking me i know all right so then i got like nine trillion for freaking ebooks um oh addison moore sent me f ephemeral ephemeral i don't know how to say that um oh and kendall ryan sent me unravel me and that looks for freaking amazing Oh, and I got uh, Detention of the Living Dead from Rusty Fisher. I, I don't even know when it comes out, but I cannot for freaking wait. You should see his guest post. It's awesome. Um, oh, and then I got Splintered from NetGalley, and seriously, um, I've been, like, dying for that book for months, ever since I first, first heard about it. It looks amazing. Okay, let's see. What else did I get? Oh, I got Reflected in You, which is the sequel to Bear to You. So hopefully I'll like that one better than I did Fifty Shades Darker. So I, I didn't enjoy the sequel. I haven't heard great things though. So, um, ooh, and I got Love Un Unscripted. It's I guess it's about like this um, I, I, an actor guy I believe, but it's supposed to be very very. It's it's like everybody is 
can't stop talking about it. So, um, let's see. Oh, and then I got, um, Karina, um, yeah, Karina, is that, yeah, Karina Hot, Hot Hail. I always say her name wrong. Um, she sent me the Devil's Metal, and it's, a, it's like a music, it's about a rock band. Um, I think. I could be wrong. Okay, then I got, then, oh, and then I bought, um, Clash, which is the sequel to Crush. Um, I bought, ooh, I bought On Dublin Street. It's, uh, Samantha Young's new one. It's, I think it's, uh, I think it's her first contemporary. I could be wrong, but I think it, it's definitely contemporary, but, I mean, it, seriously, it shot to number one on Kant and Kindle, like, within two days. It was amazing. It was crazy. So, uh, I bought it. Um, ooh, and then I am so excited about this one. I got, I bought, um, I had never heard of it before. I just happened to, like, you know, my Amazon recommends. Um, it's called White Trash Beautiful by Teresa Moomermit, Moomert, something like that. But it looks freaking fantastic. I think it looks fabulous. All right, so, um, that's all I got in the past few weeks. So... I know this wasn't a super exciting video, but uh, I seem to have lost my to do it. So, what's the matter? Um, so, anyway, I want to know what everybody else got in there or to stack their shelves with, and I just leave a link and I will come visit you. I will try. <laughs> I make no promises.